I just got back from playing the brand new Godzilla arcade game that's at Dave and Buster's and I wanted to kind of get my thoughts on it. I'm not exactly an arcade buff or anything. I'm pretty bad at almost all arcade games, but this is Godzilla related, so I figured let's give it a try. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this game on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere really. It just kind of came out and there was a little bit of buzz and then it just went away. So I wanted to figure out, you know, is this a bad game? Is it secretly underrated? You know, what's the deal with it? And that's when I encountered the very first problem. Where is Dave and Buster's? <laughs> so in case you didn't know, I live in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And after doing some research, I found out that the closest Dave and Buster's was an hour away. I also didn't really know what a Dave and Buster's was. I kind of just figured, oh, it's an arcade. And that's it. So I gained a companion for this trip in order to make it more bearable. And I got my buddy Joe to tag along. Look at this dude. Ooh, ooh, he's getting, ooh, he's getting sturdy with it. He's getting sturdy with it. Ooh, ooh, he's getting sturdy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Together we drove an hour to our closest Dave and Buster's and we pulled into the parking lot and we had a little bit of a conversation about what Dave and Buster's was because I had thought that Joe knew what Dave and Buster's was. I thought that he was our resident Dave and Buster's expert. Turns out he's never even been to one. Have you ever been to a Dave and Buster's, Joe? No. Have you ever wanted to go to a Dave and Buster's? Not, not really. Why not? Why are you Dave and Buster's phobic? So like, you know how at the end of high school, like during summer break that is, you know people exist, but then in the back of your mind, you just completely fail to remember any of those people? Sure. That's Dave and Buster's. That's Dave and Buster's, okay. Yeah, didn't you say it was like Chuck E. Cheese, but for adults? That is what I said. Yeah, I've never been to a Dave & Buster's before, so... Well, I've also never been to a Chuck E. Cheese before, so we have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Why would you say it's like Chuck E. Cheese Cause that's for what adults, I... but you've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese before? Because I, that's that's what I heard. I've never been to, like, Montana, so I could say, like, oh... Dave and Buster's is like Montana. So we walked into Dave and Buster's and right away I see it, the Godzilla machine. So I was happy right off the bat. Okay, they actually have it <laughs> because that wasn't even guaranteed. I just thought, okay, we're gonna walk into a Dave and Buster's and just pray that this new machine is there. Is there food here? Yeah, it's like Chuck E. Cheese, but for adults. <laughs> okay, all I wanna do is play one game. I want to play one game and it's the Godzilla game. If they don't even have it here, this whole thing is pointless. We saw a sign on the door that said, if you pay for food that's around $15 each, then you get 30 minutes of unlimited game time. So Joe and I figured, hey, that's not too bad. We were both hungry, so we figured, let's get some food. So I ordered some wings, he got a burger, and it was surprisingly good. If I'm being honest, my expectations were pretty low, considering, you know, I didn't really know what a Dave and Buster's was. I think my brother went to a birthday party there when he was like six, and that was it. So I was shocked that the food was actually halfway decent. Finally, we finished our food, we got the check, and then we were told, okay, you get 30 minutes of unlimited game time. And we immediately just beelined right for the Godzilla machine. There it is. Jack in. Upon approaching, we realized that this was VR, which I'm not a big fan of VR. I know it's kind of a weird take, but let me explain. I'm someone that gets motion sickness very easily. I own an Oculus VR headset and I barely use it. In fact, I recently just gave it away to my brother because it just makes me feel sick and nauseous after using it. The recent animated Spider-Verse movies also give me a headache and motion sickness, probably because of that frame rate, how they chop it down to 12 frames a second. And so I just can't really sit through those movies, unfortunately. And the same goes for like that Mutant Ninja Turtles movie and the Puss in Boots one. The animation is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but it just makes me feel sick. So as soon as I saw that this was a Godzilla game that was VR, uh, I prepared for the worst. I was ready to be puking my guts out in the bathroom like five minutes later. So me and Joe strapped in and we were pleasantly surprised. As soon as it starts, 
you're allowed to pick either Manda or Megaguirus as to which monster you want to fight, which for me, I was very shocked by. I was expecting this to just be, okay, we got to go shoot Godzilla and that's the game. But instead we get to pick two very obscure monsters. We picked Manda for the first playthrough and it was a really fun level. We were flying through the city and zipping through and surprisingly, I wasn't really getting any motion sickness. The only problem though was that the strap for the VR headset was a bit too loose. So at times I just kind of had to hold onto it and pray that it didn't fly off. The ride itself though is very fascinating to me. It doesn't feel like an arcade game, which is why I've actually said ride a few times in case you noticed. It feels more like a Disney ride or maybe Universal. As soon as we first started and we jolted forward, the entire machine jolted forward with us. And as we were traveling at very high speeds, they had a little wind machine on us. So it really felt like we were really moving with it. Honestly, I don't even know what I was expecting. It certainly wasn't this though. I thought we were just gonna get like a basic alien or terminator type shooter uh those are common in most arcades and so when i saw this it was just wildly different but so much more fun all right joel what'd you think um wait this is the after the fact right yeah, after the fact yeah so we we rode the ride what would we think well, I mean, you call it a ride. It wasn't a ride, but it felt like a ride. But it felt like a, if you've ever been to Disney, especially the like the Avatar ride or the Millennium Falcon mm -hmm. ride. Oh, yeah, totally. It yeah. was, I mean, not one to one, obviously, yeah. but it, it was very similar to those things, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I was not. I don't know what I was really expecting. Um, maybe, it wasn't that. But it, it, it wasn't <laughs> that. I was probably expecting something closer to like uh I don't know, maybe you were Godzilla and you were, like, smashing up buildings or something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, we killed Godzilla, by the way. Yeah, we we're, did. We're actually that strong. Yeah, yeah. No, what I was expecting was, like, that alien one that we were looking at, where oh, you're just yeah. kind of standing there and just, like... And you have the like, light gun and you're... That's, that's literally what I thought it was going to be. And uh -huh. then when I saw that... Well, I knew it was going to be VR, so I just thought it was right. just, like, an extension of that. But when it actually started and we're, like, lunging forward and back, I'm yeah. like, oh, this is, like, a ride ride. This is, yeah, this yeah. is legit. Um, there were a few moments where, because they had like simulated wind from a fan that would be like blown oh, into your face I when you would go down. That. And so for me, it was like, oh, that adds to the realism. I'm, I'm yeah, actually, yeah. I actually feel like I'm going down or I feel like I'm going back up. Right. So I was pleasantly surprised, all things considered. Yeah. It was a thumb, thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs up, up from me. Thumbs up from me. Thumbs up from me. After we were done playing the Godzilla game, we sort of walked around Dave and Buster's a bit and we played a few other games. We tried playing the Jurassic Park game, but that just didn't really work out. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't like accept our cards. It was kind of weird. So we ended up playing a Halo game instead. And that was also really fun. And that's when I noticed it was made by the same company that made the Godzilla one. We then went around to every single shooter game and we noticed it was made by the exact same company. Aliens Armageddon? Yep, Raw Thrills made that one. Jurassic Park? More like Raw Thrills. The Walking Dead? Raw Thrills. Even Galaga was made by Raw Thrills. I'm not complaining by any means. I just think it's kind of crazy how one company has almost like a monopoly on a very specific niche genre of video games, which are these arcade shooter games. And something I like about this company, Raw Thrills, is that it seems like that they're gradually evolving and making each game that comes out better and better, with this new Godzilla game being arguably one of the best arcade games that I've ever played in my entire life. I say that as not just a Godzilla fan, but just as a regular person. After we were done playing it, we heard people going on the rides and going, woo, woo. I'm just really happy that this game was actually decent and honestly worth driving an hour out to go and play it. Mind you, that's an hour there, an hour back. So it was kind of an all day thing, but honestly, it was worth it. I had a ton of fun doing it. So yeah, kind of a short video for today. I uh, just wanted to sort of tell you about this brand new arcade game and uh yeah go check it out i'm not like sponsored or anything i know it seems like i'm just glazing dave and busters here but i promise you i'm not sponsored <laughs> i wish i was hey hey sponsor me guys uh but no for real it was just a really fun experience and i figured i'd make a video talking about it here so that was my dave and busters godzilla vr experience i have no idea what i'm going to call this video because it's kind of just whatever uh, but yeah, I'm Cole McCormick. You're watching Firewood Media, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.